This video is on finding the volume of rectangular prisms. Please, please be sure to have your journal so that you can take notes and work examples. If needed, pause the video to keep up with the examples. Okay, a rectangular prism is a three-dimensional 3D figure with two parallel bases that are congruent rectangles. All right, so here's a three-dimensional figure. If you look at the bases, kind of like the floor and the ceiling, okay, the bottom base is in the shape of a rectangle, the top base is also in the shape of a rectangle, these are congruent. That means their dimensions are the same. There are other types of prisms. Um, there's triangular prisms. Um, this year, though, there's also trapezoidal prisms, but this year in sixth grade, we're only focusing on the rectangular prism. So volume is the amount, oops, we have a typo here, A-M-O-U-N-T, sorry. Volume is the amount of space inside a three-dimensional figure. So volume is measured in what we call cubic units. This tells you the number of cubes of a given size that it will take to fill the prism. So you could have different size cubes. You could have centimeter cubes. You could have inches. You could have meters. Okay, there's different size cubes, but the number of cubes it takes to fill the prism is what is called the volume. So how many cubic units are in each rectangular prism? So let's take the look at the first one. If you look, there's one, two, three, four, and then you have four behind it, so there are a total of eight. There's only one level, so it's just eight. If you take a look at this one, there's two, three, four, five, and there's six per level. Since we have two levels, our volume would be 12 cubic units. On this one, we have three levels, but in each level, there are only three cubes. So we would do three times three, which is gonna be nine cubic units. What about if we had something like this? Well, there's three different ways you could find the volume of this prism. One is that you could count each cube. Boring. Two, you could count the number of cubes in each layer and then add them together or multiply by the number of layers. Or the quickest and easiest way is going to be to use a formula. The formula to define the volume of a rectangular prism is, is V, capital V for volume, equals capital B times H. Okay, so the volume of a rectangular prism is the product of its base area, which is a capital B, and its height. Okay, so let's talk about the base area. I think a lot of you, well, I'm not going to say a lot of you, it used to be volume, the formula for volume was length times width times height. Okay, well now we're using the, the big B, which stands for base area. So you have to look at your prism and you have to look at the base. So here is our base. Our base is a rectangle. So we would use the formula for area of a rectangle to find our base area. If this was in the shape of a triangle, then you would have to use the formula for the area of a triangle to find the base area. So let's do some examples. We're going to find the volume of each prism. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find, write the formula. Okay, just like we did with area, we're going to write the formula for volume. Volume V equals capital B for base area times the height. Now we need to plug in our numbers and write our equation. First thing you need to do is find out that base area. Identify your base. Sometimes you're not going to be able to see the base on the top but you can see it on the bottom. And remember that these are congruent. The top and the bottom are congruent. So if this length is five, that means this length here is five. If this height of the base is three, then that means that this side is also three. So our equation would be volume equals five times three, and then the height of the total prism is four. How tall does it stand, or how many layers makes the height? Four of them. So this would be your equation, volume equals 5 times 3 times 4. Then you just do the math. 
5 times 12 or you could do 15 times 4. Either way you're going to get a volume of 60 inches cube. cube. Okay next one. We want to find our base. This is our base. We don't see it on the bottom but we know that it's congruent to the bottom base. So this length right here, the base is 3, the height of our base is 2, and then the height of the prism itself is 10. So our formula would be 3 times 2 times 10, I'm sorry, our equation would be 3 times 2 times 10, do the math, and the volume equals 60 centimeters squared. And that should not be squared, that should be cubed, typo. All right, a box can hold 180 cubic inches of cereal. If the box is six inches long and 10 inches tall, how wide is it? All right, this is a little bit different because we're told that the box can hold 180 cubic inches. Whenever you're given the amount in cubic inches or cubic whatever, you're given the volume. This is our volume. So this time we know the volume and we're looking for the width. So our formula, volume equals base area times height. Plug in your numbers. The volume V is 180. Six inches is the base, that's the length. 10 inches tall is how tall the box is, so that's your height. And then we're looking for this width or the height of our base. And then you just solve it. 180, 60 times 10, or six times 10 is 60 H. Solve your equation for H, and H equals three. So the height, or the width, the box is three inches wide.